One of my favorite stories is of a patient, and he came in one day and he said, I had a really wonderful experience today. He said, I was outside yesterday in my garden, and I heard a sound that I couldn't identify. And I kept looking around, and it was the sound of rain on the leaves in my garden. My work is in the field of cochlear implants, devices to restore hearing to individuals who are profoundly deaf, uh, either at birth or who have become profoundly deaf following accident or injury. The patients we deal with come to us because they can't benefit from, for example, a conventional hearing aid. The results are extraordinarily good in the best cases. We can take patients who simply can't hear anything at all and with the aid of the implant, they can achieve 100% speech understanding. Your brain has to start to relearn the sounds that you couldn't hear. And the ability to be outdoors and to hear a bird sing and to know that it's singing and to know where it's coming from is really the things that have become quite memorable but it's a whole new novel experience. Changed my life, turned it right around. When I was about three months old, my parents had found out that I was deaf and I only had little hearing. And they fitted me with a hearing aid, but that wasn't enough. So I got the surgery at five and a half years old. It taught me not to take life for granted, that you have to work with what you have, and because I got the cochlear implant, I focused a lot at school, and right now I know how to play the piano and the flute. When you can work with a, a young person born deaf and um, see them grow and prosper, and uh, it's really reinforcing for everyone. One of our patients that turned out to be tremendously useful for research was a patient who had lost hearing in both ears, and then the hearing in the other ear came back. So that allowed us to have him match the sound quality of an implant with his hearing ear. And we'd always wondered, what does it really sound like? And this was a tremendous help to us in understanding cochlear implants. We first experimented with tones. Here's what tones of varying frequencies sound like to our patient. First you will hear the sound input to the implant, and then you will hear what it sounded like. We then turn to speech. Here's what speech sounds like through the implant. Again, first the input to the implant, and then it's match. It was a full moon three nights ago. It was a full moon three nights ago. Don't live beyond your means. Don't live beyond your means. That was an unexpected outcome. That was an unexpected outcome. One of our current projects is to invent new ways to test patient performance. So we have created with the help of our grant from the National Institutes of Health, a surround sound system like you see here and in another laboratory. We've calibrated the system in such a way that when you sit in the middle of this loudspeaker array, you really are in the restaurant. It's really a striking replication of the environment. And it's exactly what we need to evaluate new signal processing algorithms for cochlear implants. It is really all in the name of science.